Hey, welcome to MVTV News. My name is Tito. And I'm Jared. Here at the school, we have a variety of sports. And one of those sports is cross country. For more info on cross country, here's the video. And I'm going to go for a run. Mission Vista High School Cross Country is full of students who are committed and willing to give it their all. I enjoy pretty much everything. It's hard, it's fun, it's challenging, it's just fun, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I enjoy the races and I like the competitive spirit that everyone has when we're running and it feels good. Cross country is a sport that takes a lot of commitment. Um, first of all, we're out here usually six days a week. So for kids to come out here after, after school takes a lot of commitment. Um, it also takes a lot of personal commitment in terms of running and racing. Um, we set goals for ourselves and we want to reach them. So in order to do that, it takes commitment um, day in and day out of practice. Running isn't the hardest part. There is also an intense mental aspect of it. The most challenging part definitely isn't practice and it's definitely not running. It's the whole mind aspect of it all because that, that's what will take you like to the next mile or over the next hill. Let me think. The running. <laughs> Students work hard every day in order to reach their team goals, as well as their individual goals. Some of the goals for this season um, mostly include individual goals. Um, a successful team for us would be each, um, each of our athletes achieving their own personal goals. So that is number one. And our number two goal is, of course, to make state. Last year, we sent both of the boys and girls team to state, and so this year, that is also our goal. Picked up it. Overall, students have a fun time across country, and they would recommend it for anyone to join. Well, that was a pretty good video. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it wasn't bad, but you know what? I'm more of like a performing type of guy. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like going on a run now. So look, I feel like performing. Alrighty. Well, you can do that at the event called the Coffee Cup. You know that, right? I, I do now. Well, at the coffee house, there's people that do skits, acoustics, music, and you get to drink some coffee. I think it's really cool because, you know, if you want to throw a skit on, you don't, you don't be good at it, but you try. So you should sign up for that. And there's a video for more info. Here you guys go. Coffee House is an event that's hosted by the Mission Vistas Drama Club and is designed to have students show off any interesting or unique talents that they have. It's coordinated by Ms. Jones, the drama teacher, and has been successful. I think it was really entertaining. I liked it a lot. I'd come to another one. I thought Coffee House was great. It had a lot of really good performances. On Friday, September 27th, the first coffee house of the school year was hosted. Very long to write this song, cause the memories had sung. The story begins with smiles and grins. In the theater, many different students were able to perform, creating a truly unique night. Never want to leave. Oh, when things just get so crazy. I don't want to read for you, don't want to know. Oh. Students rehearse to make sure they can make Friday's performance the best it can be. I like the last one because it had the most instruments in it and I, I like all the instruments. It sounds really good. I'm away, she never leaves the house. I want a girl who laughs for My favorite performance was Sawyer Henderson's because we're really good friends and 
I really enjoyed the song she did. Like, it was really unique and different from everybody else because she did it on a ukulele as opposed to a guitar, which mainly everybody else did. My favorite performance was my cousin's performance because she has a really pretty voice and she sang this really nice um, classy song by um, Amy Winehouse, it's called Valerie, and I just think she, she sang it beautifully. A highlight of the event was the variety of foods served at Coffee House, from cookies and cupcakes to hot chocolate and of course coffee. A variety of performances were seen. There were skits. Well, it's kind of old. I know it gets old, but it Poems. If every day you just wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, one day you'll end up forgetting why. I should have known nothing lasts forever. Clogging. <laughs> Martial arts and dramatic readings. <laughs> Unless, of course, they ask me to. But anyways, <laughs> I have the drive to go rob a bank on days where I'm broke or go steal cash out of a cash I would go again. I, I really want to see more people, you know, showcase their talents, whatever it is, you know, it could be anything. Be sure the next time you hear Coffee House announced, you get tickets to partake in this amazing event. Man, that was a good video, but I kind of want some more coffee. Really? You just had like two cups of coffee over the video, but the coffee is good. Why don't you do something productive, like join digital arts class? That's digital art. Well, we'll find out more. I guess. Here's the video on Digital Art Class. Hope you guys enjoy. Huh? Mission Vista's photo imaging class is a rich history of inspiring students. These courses have shown students proper techniques on how to better the performance in photography. And now a new teacher, Mr. Sally, is bringing something new to the class. I'm trying to bring to digital photography a true sense of what photography is, not just Photoshop. I think Photoshop's a great application. I've been using it since 93. But um, you know, I think that there's so much that can be done just with the camera. And I think a lot of times, digital photography programs, it becomes a graphic design class where they're doing stuff with type and all sorts of other things. So we've really been slowing down. We've been spending a lot of time on how do you use the light meter? How do you go about getting a good exposure? Even you know doing things without the camera, just using basic daylight exposure. We've been working on a lot of compositional techniques, how to control depth of field. So really kind of slowing things down and, and looking at how do you actually take a photograph. Recently, we were working on black and white pictures. And more recently, the last project we did was we worked on pictures of people's faces with different lighting like Rembrandt light or butterfly light or side light. In Mr. Sandoval's class we did a lot more Photoshop work or at Mr. Sally's class there's a lot more photos and we take a lot more photos and we learn about photos more. In the advanced class they've been kind of doing a long-term project so they've all picked a theme or a type of photography that they're most interested in whether it was photojournalism or street photography or black and white or you know, fashion photography or sports photography, and then they're kind of focusing in on that, and they have individual assignments, each of them, that they're supposed to accomplish over a four-week period. The projects we have worked on in his class are several Photoshop tutorials, and we have also gone over black and white photos, and yeah, that's it. Currently, everybody has their own project, depending on what type of photography they chose. So if they chose nature photography, they would take nature pictures or sports or photography would take sports pictures. I'm currently working on the nature photography project. What I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to take pictures of before sunrise and then after sunrise and then before sunset and after sunset. And I'm excited to work with the students. It seems like we've got a good population of students. It seems like most of them want to be here and are excited about being at the school, and so that always makes my job easier. Yeah, check out Mr. Sally's class. He's a really cool guy, and it's just a fun class to have. Well, that was a pretty awesome video. I think I might take digital art next semester. You know, I might join you, actually, too. It seems pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to agree with you on that. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Tito. And I'm Jarrett. And this is Mission Vista News. Laters.
Deuces. Uh,